Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory as due unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God, Yahweh Shai. Is the true name of the Holy Father's only begotten Son, who this word refers to as Jesus Christ, by Hashem, as in the name, Rechah Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Also, Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Hashem Shai, and Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the Spirit of Power of Yahweh Hashem. Yahweh Shai, and uh, also from the GMS West Palm, and uh, the title of this video, Lord Willing, is going to be uh, Strong Confidence. So let me start here at the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 26, and the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. Right? So why is fearing the Lord God uh, why does fearing the Lord give you strong confidence? Because you have you have faith, you know, that He will protect you. Alright, He will provide for you. Alright? You know, so it's strong confidence, you know. When when Jacob's trouble arrives and these people are, you know, going crazy, you know, not knowing what to do. Okay, because they haven't been taking heed. To these prophecies, they haven't taken heed to the spirit of Yahweh Shai. They haven't taken his covering. All right, then they're not they're not going to have confidence. That, you know that they're going to be able to get something to eat. All right, they're not going to have confidence. They're not going to have confidence that they'll be able to have something to drink. They're not going to be confident, man. Okay, because all hell breaking loose. They're not going to be confident. You know and because all they can trust in them really is themselves, man. Okay? You can't save yourself. All right? You can't have trust in these weapons. Okay? You know, they're going to be afraid that they're going to die. Somebody's going to kill them. Somebody's going to try to rob them. All right? And them not, have, not having that faith, them not having that confidence, what that is going to lead to? That's going to lead to them, you know, abiding by the system, man. All right? Getting that getting that sea hill okay eating abominations man okay a lot of these people in a, in a time where all hell breaking loose they're going to result to cannibalism they're going to result to eating uh eating pork okay they already do it now man so how much more in a time of trouble they're going to result to cannibalism man with 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 ease man all right you know, you'll be surprised what somebody does, you know, when you when they don't have food. Okay, when it's a dire dire emergency and they don't have nothing to eat. You'll be surprised of how far these people will go, man. You know, they already especially y'all people, they're already killing each other over over uh, a fried chicken sandwich, man. When Popeye's had that promotion going on. It was killing each other over fried chicken, man. All right, killing killing somebody because they don't they don't have any more chicken left, man. So how much more in a time of trouble, man? All right, they're gonna be eating each other's flesh, man. All right, what it says. This is Isaiah 9 and 20. And he shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry. And he shall eat on the left hand. And he shall eat on the left hand. And they shall not be satisfied. They shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. Man. Okay. So cannibalism is going to come back. Guaranteed. Man. All right. You had that story in, uh, in 2 Kings. All right. When it was a famine in the land. All right, what they said is she was going to boil her son, and then the next day we uh, boil their son, and the next day I'll, I'll boil mine. Huh? All right, ultimately she finessed because she didn't, she didn't allow her son to get boiled. All right, but that's 
That's the time that we're coming into, man. All right? A famine in the land, man. Okay? And without that strong confidence, man, all right, you're going to be uh you're going to be weak and feeble out here. This is uh Sirach. Chapter 2 and verse 13 says, "Woe which is destruction unto him that is faint-hearted." Okay? Lacking confidence. Weak. All right? Hey, woe unto you if you're weak, man. For he believeth not. All right, hey, therefore your confidence is low, man. And it says here, it says, therefore shall he not be defended. Hey, so you won't be defended, man. All right, hey, the Lord ain't, ain't protecting or having his hedge around somebody that's weak. No confidence, all right? You're just uh, another sheep accounted for the slaughter, man. It says, war unto you that have lost patience, man. All right? I mentioned in my last video, we got to wait upon the Lord. Here in captivity, we're waiting on the Lord to return, man. All right? So if you, if you, the Lord bless you with this knowledge, and then you, uh, you begin to lose faith, you go back into this world, all right, whoa, man. Destruction. Woe unto you that have lost patience, man. Really, because you're, you're not able to endure. And what? You lost confidence, man. You didn't fear the Lord. You lost confidence. All right? Hey, so woe unto you because you've lost that patience, man. It says, and what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? You're not going to do nothing, man. You're going you gonna, hey, you gonna, you gonna to do what the Lord... You're going, you're, going pun you're going to get punished, man. All right, whether the Lord wants you to be delivered or wants you to be punished. All right, that's what we're going to do when the Lord shall visit you. You're going to, you're going to reap your reward, man. It says, they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, man. Okay? If you fear the Lord, you fear what he can do to you. All right, you're not going to disobey his word, man. You're going to keep his word to the best of your ability. It says, and they that love him will keep his ways. All right, if you love me, keep my commandments. Hey, if you fear the Lord and you love him, okay, you're going to do what he says, just like our, our, our earthly parents, man. All right, we love them and we reverence them. We have a sense of fear about them, especially growing up. A sense of fear, you're going to get your ass beat. If you uh, disobey your parents, all right, all right, how much more the Heavenly Father? It says, verse 16 again, it says, They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing that which is well pleasing unto him and they that love him shall be filled with the law all right you're gonna be going after the will of the heavenly father man all right it says the fear of the lord is wisdom man okay so if you have wisdom out here all right in this world you're gonna have a sense of confidence about you man all right that's why the scripture says knowledge puffeth up hey you do uh you you it does uh, give you a sense of uh, righteous, not wicked pride, but righteous pride. Uh, 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 it makes you, uh, uh, it builds your self-esteem, man. Our self-esteem is getting built back up, all right? But it comes with balance, man. You can't let that puff you up to the point, you know, where you being, uh, you, where you being wicked as hell, all right? Knowledge can puff you up, get your head so big. To where, you, to where, then you going off. You see. So this word, all right. This word is 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 precious, man. All right. You handle this word the wrong way. All right. The Lord, the Lord can strip it from you. This is high level uh, knowledge that we have, man. 
So we got to handle it with care. And we got to handle it correctly. Because this knowledge will put you on a level. You know, but and we got to be humble and meek about it. It says, they that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight. All right, because, hey, we're, we're as a... Uh, we're as grasshoppers, man. All right? It's a, the, the Lord can squish us, man. Step on us, man. We ain't nothing. It says, saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. All right? So that's why we fear the Lord. Our, our protection, you know, is in Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah. We rather, you know, fear the Lord, obey him. All right, because, hey, at least he has mercy. He has care for his elect, man. All right, but you trust a man, all right, what the scripture says, that you're cursed, man. Trust is he that uh, that trusts them in, in, in man and in flesh, roughly paraphrasing. Let me grab that. This is Jeremiah 17 and verse 5. It says, Thus saith Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. And maketh flesh his arm, whose heart departed from the Lord. All right, so we we trust in the Lord, man. We don't lean upon our own our own understanding. That's why the fear of the Lord is that strong confidence. And let me go back to this again. I'll read this in the NLT Proverbs fourteen and twenty six. It says, "Those who fear the Lord are secure." All right. Because we know what the scriptures say. All right. We know that the Lord said his elect is going to eat. They're going to drink. They're going to be married. They're going to be happy. All right. They're going to be delivered. So we have confidence. You know, we say, Lord willing, we are part of our number. Okay. So as long as we're doing the things that's pleasing unto the Lord, we, we have confidence that we're going to be delivered, man. All right. And so we walking, we walking around with our head high, man. In the time of trouble, when all hell breaking loose. We're going to be cool, calm, and collect, man. All right? Because the spirit of the Lord is going to be is, is, is dwelling within us. Okay? And the spirit of the Lord gives you what? Comfort, peace, tranquility, man. Because we know what's going on. We expected this. We prophesied it, man. And once it comes to pass, that's going to, that's going to boost us up even more. Because the, then we know that the, we already know that the Lord is real. Then we're going to know even more. That the Lord is real, man. All right? Yeah, we prophesy it now. We believe it. Okay? But has it come to pass? No. But we we know it'll come to pass. And once so once it comes to pass, we're going to be like, let's fucking go. Excuse my speech, man. All right? And we're going to be like, let's go, man. Then our confidence is going to raise up, man. But those, those who doubted the Lord now... When all hell breaks loose, they're going to doubt even more. They're going to be like, damn, I didn't do enough. Damn, they said this was going to happen, and I didn't take heed. You see, that's why the scripture says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him, call upon him while he is near. All right? But these prophecies coming to the past, man. All right? World War Three brewing up, all these different things. Once shit pop off, all right? Our confidence is going to skyrocket, man. All right. Scripture says, with the faith of a mustard seed, we shall, we shall be able to move mountains, man. All right. Hey, spiritual power is going to come. And that comes by what? That comes by faith. That comes by believing. All right. When, when Peter was walking on the water, he had spiritual powers, man. He was walking on the water, but what happened? He, 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 he began to sink once he doubted, man. Spiritual powers comes with faith, man. So with your faith at an all-time high, hey, the Lord gonna grant men out here with uh with supernatural ability, man. But it all comes with that confidence, man. Let me see if there's anything else on confidence. Let me just type it in confidence here. Let me, I'm going to close out with these. 
I'm going to close out with this. 1 John 5 and 14. I'm going to read 13. 1 John 5 and 13. These things have I written unto you that believe on the Son, on the name. Ooh, these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, which is Yahweh Shai, that ye may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of the Most High. What's that name? Yahweh Shai. All right, very important that you have the Hebrew name of our Lord and Savior, the Deliverer, Yahweh Shai, which means he saves, he delivers. Man. It says, and this is the confidence that we have in him. If we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us, man. We have confidence in our prayer, man. Because the Lord is a just power, man. He has care for his elect. All right, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this video was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I'm going to close with that. Give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka. Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David and to the next lesson. I say shalom and a Baba Ball. Shalom.